the last thing that i want to mention here is uh, that we had this tfidf scores and we had three uh, components to that score okay how we do how we calculate the term frequency weight how we calculate the document frequency weight and how we do the normalization now it turns out that all three of them can be done in different ways for example the term frequency was something we saw can be done in two different ways we could directly work with the term frequency or we could do log frequency weighting but there are actually a bunch of other more complicated formulas as you can see over here which can be used and which are used because they end up being more effective in practice likewise the idf score can be computed like this but there are alternate ways of computing the idf score and the normalization can be done uh, you know by dividing the length of the vector with uh, by dividing the vector with the magnitude of the vector like the one we did for computing the cosine score but it can be done in some other ways also so if we denote each of these schemes by an alphabetical letter then we can say that a t c is the scheme that we are using that means we are using the augmented variant of term frequency weighting we are combining it with the t variant of the document frequency weighting and we are combining it with the c variant of the normalization so we can combine any of these with any of these and with any of these okay and different search engines use different kinds of weightings for these three you know three parts and there is something called a smart notation which was i think developed at cornell which denotes the combination that we are going to use particularly like L T C is one combination. B T B is another combination. And something that I didn't talk about was the fact that you need not work with one one ones in the query. Okay, I, I said that the terms that appear in the query will contribute a one in the uh, count vector for that particular query. Not count vector, sorry, the T F I D F uh, weight. It need not be one. You can think of the T F I D F weight in the query itself. Okay, instead of just storing ones, you can actually store the TFIDF weights. So that's also possible. I mean, you can look, think about that variant also, whether that would have any advantages. So you can use three different letters to stand for how you will be weighting the terms in the query, and you can have three different uh, possible schemes for how you are weighting terms in documents. So um if you have so uh, one of the standard weighting schemes that's used is lnc.ltc that means when when computing the tfidf weights for documents i will use the l scheme for term frequency i will use the n scheme for document frequency and i'll use the c scheme for normalization whereas for the query vector i'll use the l scheme for term frequency i'll use the t scheme for document frequency and the by the way this uh, uh n indicates one so this is a scheme where you're not using idf weights at all for documents anyway so you i i hope you get the point this is something i'll leave to you as an exercise uh this is an example because we've done several examples already you should be able to do it yourself this is the query this is the document and uh, you can you know compute what given you know the dfs for these different terms and the idfs of course you can compute the idfs from the df you can compute the idf score and you can compute the tf score and then compute the tf idf vectors okay for the query and for the document and you can do that for this particular scheme lnc.ltc you can try it out and uh, uh you know see if uh, you, you can practice how these scores would be computed if you need more practice that is okay the score between the query and this particular document okay so that pretty much finishes with uh, this section uh, or this chapter to summarize what we did was we we discussed rank retrieval okay so i hope you understand how to do ranking now especially using cosine similarity scores and tfidf weights <laughs>